second Batman and my thought process was like, oh, I, I, I'll buy a hundred and it won't be the end of the world. But those are the ones that sell a ton. So, of course, they make all the variations and yeah. so on. So, how so, many Batman Funkos do you I've think you have? I've got, like, 90, I think, in my house. 90? Yeah. Batman. I, I, well, my issue is that first we started with Batman, and then I also started with horror ones. And so, at one point, I just had to cap it off and realize I'll never get to the end of this, this collection. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, it's a rainy day in Jacksonville. We're back doing another toy hunt. I'm here with Smart Mark Sterling, but we have some very special guests that I've decided to squash my beef with in the love and common interest collecting toys and pop culture. The Dark Order. Hello. Hey. Hi, guys. How's it going? Buy some effing toys today. That's right. Probably not because they're very cheap. So. Me too. <laughs> do you collect them? Yeah, I do. What do you collect? Um, just wrestling figures. Okay, wrestling stuff. Part of me wants to dip a toe in Batman figures. But oh! oh. That's, that's, I don't know. that's what I want. Yeah. I was going to say, for, I think Evil Uno is like obsessed with Batman. I do. I have a whole room dedicated to him in my house. All right. I had a Batman wedding. You're on Batwing? I did. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so smart! Wow. This is already gonna be great. <laughs> and so again, I found this just by Googling, so we have no idea if you know, if this is a good store or Yeah, we also have no idea if they're gonna let us go film with a man in a leather mask. So we're gonna yeah, find that's... we're gonna find that out too. Alright, let's go check out Mythical Mount. They made a rock and sock connection Funko oh why he's wearing the a combo suit? that little silk track suit <laughs> he wore oh, in yeah. the I quit match you wrestled in one of these haven't you? yeah so I did an I quit match with uh, Johnny Gargano for Evolve and I literally went out of my way to find the baggiest black v-neck <laughs> and uh, the I couldn't find the two stripe pants because yeah. he had like the knockoff right they weren't Adidas yeah so I went and bought Adidas and like Markered out the Adidas logo. <laughs> Do I look like a normal person with this baseball cap? Yes, that makes it much In better. Incognito evil. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in public. <laughs> Incognito Uno. <laughs> no one knows. <laughs> Paige, are you a comic book guy? Some. Yeah. Yeah. Not like, like I'll, I'll, I'll get a couple put in glass because I like the covers, but I'm not okay. like, uh, I need every issue. Or gotcha, 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 gotcha. No rhyme or reason. Does this place have video games too? Do you have video games? We too? have like video game figures, but we don't have. Close we, enough. We don't sell <laughs> Close enough. So wait, what? What do you? What do you I, I have a, I have a whole basement full of video games, but mostly uh, I used to uh, mainly get Funko Pops and stuff, Batman related, and then that became too much of an obsession. But any Batman related stuff, uh, that's pretty much. It. Uh, is that the, the supposed to be the brand of game, the game that's out now? Yeah. Out? Yeah. I played it a little bit. I didn't like it. Uh, it's pretty repetitive. Fun overall. What? This is so sick. Oh, they have multiple Bruce Lee figures. What the hell? Oh, no way. This is my daughter's favorite toy. You have the Squirrel Girl? Yeah. So she's got some Marvel Legends because there's like a, um, a Disney Plus series of... Squirrel Girl and Miss Marvel yep, yep, and yep. whatever, and she loves that cartoon. So, anything catch your eye so far? There's like a whole other room that we yeah, haven't even uh, checked that out. This is, I guess, mostly the comic room. I was gonna say, I haven't seen a much of wrestling stuff yet. I'm surprised there hasn't been more like wrestling related comics. Oh, I didn't even think about that. The Undertaker and Mankind single issues when they had the series like back in 2000. Oh, they had like WWF yeah, comic yeah, I books. Remember, yeah, like, uh, issue one, like Undertaker gives a tombstone to a random jobber man, his head explodes. Wait, what? Yeah, and then they get pulled into hell and stuff. What? I need yeah. to read this. I think I have the single issue at home too. Just snap a picture of the head exploding and send it to me. <laughs> So 
I've been like debating getting these Storm Collectibles figures. They're so cool. Um, just very pricey. Yes, How the four hour it? one. Yeah. I actually really liked it a lot. So I just got HBO Max. And I feel like it's a big commitment because I don't want to, I don't want to break it up. So here's my thing. My wife said the same thing, felt the same thing, watched the whole thing in one sitting and was like, oh, that didn't feel that long at all. Oh, okay. And yeah, and I love the stuff. So it didn't feel long for me, right. obviously. Yeah. And she said she didn't even feel like she'd seen the movie already, which there's obviously parts that play over. Yeah. But yeah, she was not like, this is the same. Holy, I had 200 bucks. Will that fit in one of your seven bags? Oh, I can't buy this. Uh, but this looks... Oh no, that is complete in box. I don't collect GI Joe's, but just looking at this box is like taking me back. Oh man, this whole base was so cool. His guns shot. I feel like 200 bucks for something like this is pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. This was like later in GI Joe's, but still. If you put them through the eyes, oh, but it won't work. Would, no, this would be right in my eyeballs. <laughs> All right. I'll be close up for, for everything, I guess. Oh, should we get uh, some of these for Andy? Ooh, yes. Some corn he would love figures. Those. This is cool. Man, I love how organized this place is. Oh, wait. Didn't, uh, wasn't he asking about these? Big yeah, the, those China. are the exact ones Andy were, were at, was asking about. Is there a. Uh... There's Big Trouble in Little China figures? Yeah. I think I think these are the exact ones Mark. he has. Though you don't know toys. Oh, these are the only two. And then he said that's who he has, right? Yeah, he wanted. Uh... Well, Andy Williams, just know we tried. We looked for. I you. can't believe we actually found one of them. Maybe you should come on a toy hunt with us. Well, I might buy one. Um, we've gone to a couple of these now, so and uh, Mark, as well yeah. as how on, uh, well is oh, this organized? Before, this was a great store. Yeah. Yeah, it was like an adult. And there's hidden room. spots. Huh. Yeah. Like, we think and we've like, seen it all, and then there's movie more. Uh, there's an animated movie. Yeah, very organized, very awesome. I'm, I'm holding on to this for now. Okay. We might have our first purchase. What's this wall? Is this the discount wall? Is this the leftover wall? I think we should wear this to the thing tonight, Alex. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> a tank top with a cape. Ooh. Hey, this, well, would, this would be more my style. <laughs> Both of you guys show up. Oh. <laughs> pre-ordered this whole set and you could have just got them right here but like i've seen them in stores for months and why isn't my pre-order in and i yeah. ordered them from hasbro so what do they do send to target before they send to I mark guess. sterling yeah what the hell <laughs> <laughs> how dare they uno loves the headquarters too mark oh bro man. I, the, the, i had that did you have that no i did not oh, I had no that. i had a butt load of gi joe's but I, my my family did not have the money for this I had the um, the Ghostbuster set with like the stand-up tower yes. and all that. Mm. Like, <laughs> that is yeah, I actually that was part of the stuff that was sold when I was a teenager, oh. and then when I became an adult was one of the first things I see. I oh still really? Have one, yeah. Oh nice. Yeah. Uh, do you guys remember the GI Joe Mortal Kombat figures? Yes. 
That, I'm trying to find those on card. And they had G.I. Joe Street Fighter too. They did? Oh yeah. I didn't know that. Oh. Yeah, the Mortal Kombat ones. I had the boat as a kid. I do remember that. Yeah, it was awesome. Finding them on card now though, good luck. You guys remember biker mice from Mars? Yes, I did have those. I don't have much of a... You guys remember the street shark figure? Yes. Yep. I, I put street sharks and biker mice from Mars kind of like in the same, like... Yeah, yeah. it was like the same generation where it was like badass animals. Yeah. You know, like that was, that was <laughs> Cartoons and toys. And I've, I've contemplated rebuying small soldiers. Like... Oh, oh my... Yeah. yeah. They have the coolest toys. Yeah, favorite uh, If we're talking Batman, probably like uh, Paul Dini, Scott Snyder. Other stuff that I really like is like uh, Jeff Lemire, so for Brian me, Azzarello. Okay. For me, yeah. the first two people that have ever made me be like, oh, who the hell like wrote this comic? Bendis, maybe? No, it was Scott Snyder yeah. and Greg Capullo or whatever yes, his yes. name is for art. Yeah. It was the first time I was like, I need to know who these people are. Before, it was just like, I like Batman <laughs> or I like Spider-Man or whatever. Yeah. That was like Paul Dini and Tim Sale for me, which yeah, I yeah. was super... Always been fascinated with like both their right, his writing and, and, and uh, Sale's art style. I yeah. Just, that was the first time I was like genuinely fascinated in finding out who are these people rather yeah. than like, oh, Batman's screwed. Yeah, exactly. Cool, yeah, you know? exactly. That's why I always ask. So, yeah. Props, Scott Snyder. Successful day and mythical mountain collectibles. Uh, Alex, let's go first. You did pick up something. Yes. Pure nostalgia buy. Yeah. Uh, a replica. NECA, a NECA Batarang. Hell yeah. I'll probably tie a strip to it, a string to it, so I can climb the walls of my house. I want you to throw it at Johnny. If it's in some oh, I way. probably will. Let's film that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've got a whole Batman outfit. There you go. There you go. We could use this for the Dark Order movie we're filming on BT. Perfect. So. It's movie quality. Yes. So, so uh, I'm a cheap man, and yeah. I bought absolutely nothing. You were worried about like going down the rabbit hole. Yes, I almost did. There was, there was certain Batman things I was interested in, including the Batarang, which that actually wasn't so expensive. But the stuff I was very interested in was $180 plus. Dollars, and so I, I don't even know how I was going to ship it home. Yeah, yeah. So true. I didn't true. prepare for this yeah. in any way. So I did not buy it. I kind of think Uno's interest in collecting those. Not nearly as many. Was, but, has, but has sparked a little bit oh, with yes. this little trip. I'm yeah. probably going to go home and <laughs> remodel my whole basement to, <laughs> to account for this one trip. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. He won't. He won't. He won't spend the $180. But yeah. I'll do like I'll a $10,000 makeover. Hold on, All right. So, okay, what did you get, Mark? You were looking uh, at this for Andy, and I didn't even know that Big Trouble in Little China figures existed. Mm -hmm. I, I honestly, I don't know what else is in the set, but this is the Lightning Guy. This was one of my favorite movies. I watched the shoot out of this movie, and the fact that figures exist. I'm baffled. So, here we are. Maybe there's more. There's for sure more. There's yeah. more yeah, there's, I think yeah, there's, there's three more. more at the so I found a new collection. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, let's rock and roll. Let's never, spend more money. Never saw it. <laughs> You've oh, never seen really? it? Really? No. Oh. you got to see it, man. Oh, Alex, you, <laughs> you really do though. We got you really do. Movie watch alongs now. Uh, right, so, I've actually bought that Batarang that you have. So, go check out the vlog where I purchased that. Anyways, uh, so... Ugh. I got a Diamond Select, oh, yeah. Bruce Lee, uh, specifically for figure photography. I just think it's a sweet figure. Oh yeah. And I don't have a very highly articulated uh, Bruce Lee figure. The one I have is like very bulky and like stuck in a pose where like only his elbow has a hinge. Uh, but this one I'll be able to pose and take lots of photos with, so. Okay. Yeah. All right, thanks. Plus, we heard that there's actually more locations, so we'll probably check those out. Yeah, overall great store. Actually, what's everyone's opinion of the it's store? Beautiful. It was yeah. super well organized, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Everything was kind of... Yeah. yeah, all the Batman stuff was together, yeah, all the Spawn was stuff was together. It was very, very good. Good um, price tags. Yeah. Price tags were very clear. Yeah. Brand specific Solid price prices, tags. too. They yeah. definitely know what they have. Yes. So if it's of value, they're going to price it like that, but yeah. they weren't, like, out of this world prices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mythical Mountain, good job.
Oh, also, I bought these shoes yesterday with Scorpio on a shoe hunt vlog. Click the annotation and go check that out and subscribe. <laughs> See you later. Ego, 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 me and my ego. He said I'm the man, better than you people. Forever he my hero, never be an equal. If you don't believe me, you can ask my ego. Ego, ego, me and 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 my ego. Lights, camera, action, I'm here. Put me in your magazine, man. Than worthy of your little cover story When I was a kid, my ego used to cover for me Way back when, even now, as men We go and hit the town just to watch the bags bend Me and my ego, two-seater black bends All you have friends